know some bitties in Cali. They all be calling me daddy. Whew. Women. We all love women, right? If you're on this channel, if you're watching this video, it's because you have a love and admiration for women. They're beautiful, you know what I'm saying? Beautiful creatures. God's blessing to mankind. And us as men, we be thinking about them all the time. They be on our minds, you know what I'm saying? It comes to the point where everything we do seems to be for women or to get women's attention. We getting this money, why? Because we trying to get women. But. I'm here to tell you there's more important things in life than the pursuit of women. You know what I'm saying? And if you want to pursue women, that's all you're going to be doing. Constantly pursuing. It's just like, you know what I'm saying? A constant cycle. It's tiring. And life is shorter than you guys may think. So honestly, <laughs> we got to get to it. You feel me? We got to get to our goals. We got to get to things that make us happy. Fulfill us as people. So when we look back on our life, we're like, yo, I killed it. I did my thing, you know what I'm saying? I was really out here. And guess what? On the way to all your goals, all your dreams, there's gonna be beautiful women, high caliber women. Women that you were chasing are now chasing you because you weren't distracted by them. Women are distractions, period. Now, I'm not on this channel to bash women, you know what I'm saying? And I don't say that in a negative connotation. Well, I mean, to a certain extent, it is a negative connotation because it can distract you and derail you from the direction that you need to be going in life. Like if you have a business that you're trying to start, right? And you sit down, you're like, all right, let me write out this business plan. Okay, you start writing it, you're like, okay. Ding! Your phone goes off. Oh, what's this? Oh, party tonight? Yeah, maybe after I finish this uh, business plan, right? And you writing a business plan, and then you thinking like, damn, the party does sound lit. I bet there gonna be a bunch of girls there. And now your mind starts thinking about girls. So then you writing a business plan, you like, you know what? How could I, let me scratch this. Uh, girls in bikinis. And then that wasn't even your, unless you like open in a bikini bar, which is cool, that wasn't your business plan. That was not what you were, you was trying to open up a study hall for kids. I don't know, probably not. But you get what I'm saying. What you need to do is block out distractions. Block out women as your distractions. Sometimes you need to cut off, you know what I mean, text communication. A lot of the reason people don't achieve their goals is because they're distracted by women, you know what I mean? Whether it's a girl at your school that you've been talking to and now she's stressing you out, you arguing over text, arguing over calls, and now you don't feel like doing what you need to do. You don't feel like doing your homework. And then you start failing school and then you get suspended. Then you get kicked out. Then you on the streets. Then you arguing with the homeless girls. Then you get kicked out of the community off of the street. You had a good little setup on the street. You was homeless, but not really. Now you just homeless, homeless. All because you were distracted by women. It's how, it's how the cookie crumbles. <laughs> it really is. You know what I'm saying? So if you want to build anything great, and I'm, and I'm saying this from experience because women have been distractions in my life and I've seen how it's affected my business, my life. Not just my business, but my life, you know what I'm saying? My, my personal sanity, my thoughts. When it comes to a point where all you are thinking about is women or getting women or when's the next time I'm gonna hang out with a girl or what you're doing is just to impress a girl. You're not living your life. You're not living it for the right reasons. And you'll never be fulfilled because you always need that external validation of a woman. Well, if I get this girl over here, then you know what I'm saying? Everybody gonna know I'm that dude because I got her. Like, most of the time, you ain't even doing it for yourself. You don't even think she all that. You just know everybody else thinks she all that. So if you got her, guess what that makes you? All that. Man, I'm telling you, try it out. Try to just not contact any girls, you know what I'm saying? This whole quarantine, just don't do it. Just don't do it. This is a perfect time to not do it. Focus on what you want to accomplish. Start that thing that you've always wanted to start and you ain't have time to start it. This is a perfect time. No distractions. And women are distractions. They'll come in your life and they'll mess it all up. <laughs> Only if you let them. I'm not saying all women, okay? There's some that'll help you out, help you build what you built. They understand what's going on. And they understand that you're not gonna put up with them. You're not gonna put up with their BS. You're gonna put up with them, but not their BS. All right? So, if she's not adding to your life, if she's not benefiting 
you, your pockets, your mental health. She gotta go, she gotta go. She's distracting you. She's always over here nagging and you know what I mean? Bickering about nonsense. Why? Because you feed into it. You let her, you fall for it. Understand, if you got your stuff together, she's gonna be there. If you think that, oh, I need to pay attention to her because she's tripping because I'm paying attention to everything I'm doing. Keep in mind, you already got her. She's your girl, right? I'm saying this from experience. You don't pay attention to me. Why are you always working? Because I gotta get this done. Whatever, bye. Leaves, right? And then I'm like, oh no. I'm sorry, all right, I'll put it to the side. I'll wait till tomorrow. Wait till tomorrow? Too stupid? You gotta get it done now. Time is of the essence. Look, I'ma get my business done. I'ma handle what I need to do. Cause I need to grind to eat. I put food on the table for me and you. I'll give you your time after my time. Period. If you can't handle that, you can leave right now. You should leave right now anyways, cause you distracted me. All this whining and crying. I ain't got time for that. You ain't got time for that, bro. Handle your business. It's not gonna handle itself. She not gonna handle it for you. Unless she's your personal assistant, and you probably not hitting it. So, you need to handle your business, all right? Another thing is, women are, they're very emotional creatures, you know what I'm saying? So the reason they're so distracting is because once we're invested in a woman and we keep trying to show them the attention and shower them with the attention because we feel that's what they need and it is what they need to a certain extent. But like I said, falling back is what they really need. They gonna say they need all this attention and stuff. They don't really want it deep down. Anyways, you try to figure them out. You spend all this exerted energy and effort. It's gonna stress you out because you can't can't figure them out. It's like a Rubik's Cube that can't be solved. You know what I'm saying? So fall back. Stop being distracted. Stop spending so much time with women. Stop answering every call. Stop replying to every text. Stop chasing her. You might be like, I'm doing this, I'm doing my work, I'm bored. Let me see what Rebecca doing. You hit her up, ding, and then that becomes a conversation. And then she doesn't text you back, right? And now you're thinking, overthinking in your head. You was focused on your work, you was getting it done. You were accomplishing what you needed to do. You were about to be a millionaire real quick. But now, Rebecca, or whoever, hit you up, and now she didn't hit you up. Now you're thinking like, damn, what's she doing? Oh my gosh, she must be with another guy. I don't know. And then you start calling her, and it just becomes, this problem that is unnecessary. Just stop caring so much. When you're at the top, they're going to care about you. They're gonna do whatever they can to get with you. That's where the real thoughts come. You know what I'm saying? They're gonna flock. You won't be able to get them off you. Like, damn, chill. Get... You only gotta do nothing but just do what you've been doing. You focus on yourself, and guess what? They've been focusing on you. And they're gonna come and they're gonna try their hardest to distract you more than ever. So you gotta keep your guard up. Once you at the top, you really gotta keep your guard up. You really gotta be like, nope, nope. Let's hang out, nope. Nope, Why, what do I get from hanging out with you? Let me know. Well, I mean, um, I could cook, I got Postmates. You know what I'm saying? I could cook too, you know what I'm YouTube, I could look it up, I got Google. I got a cookbook, bitch. Look, don't let them in so easily. Guys are so easy to let women in too, especially if she's pretty. She gonna try to come in to your world and mess it up because she finds joy in that. Girls are sick in the head. I don't know why, they just do it. They're attracted to success, you're gonna get the success, and then they're gonna come just suck it all out of you. And then what? You just left there. You just left there miserable, crying. <laughs> why? Don't be that dude, don't be that dude. Focus on you, I'm telling you. You'll be all right, they'll be there, and you'll be in control. Once you once you get them, you know what I mean? Then you're in control, because you didn't go out chasing. If you're out there chasing and then you get them, then they're in control, you feel me? So it's backwards, you're working backwards. You're the man, she the woman. Play your part. I love y'all. Till next time, focus on you, and the women will too. I know some bitties in Cali, they all be calling me daddy.